The following is a presentation of TFNN. Trade what you see with Larry Pesavento. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648 or internationally at 727-873-7618. Now, Larry Pesavento. Okay, folks, I'm going to share with you some Bitcoin stuff. I don't understand it very much other than it's uh, uh, adequately been tested here since uh, January of 2019 when it was listed at the Merck. It's now in the process of getting SEC permission uh, to get uh, BlackRock and several others ETFs uh, uh, approved for uh, settlement in Bitcoin. And I think it's important that we pay attention. If you'll notice here, this is a chart from uh, our newsletter, Trade What You See, uh, help, help written by John Jameson. And he was talking about the $25,000 floor in Bitcoin. And he was saying that it had a chance to get to 40000 at that time. And all I want to do is to walk through the sequence of what's going on right now because uh, John feels that this uh, thing that's coming out is going to be very, very important. Now, here's what we're looking at now when we're watching this Bitcoin for 40,000. Now, this is just based on the things that we see all the time. These are just our ABCD patterns. This is where John was buying down in here. You can see there's the $25,000 low right here. That was just about a 382 retracement. The level is right up here. The problem is, folks, we're right up in this area right here, and the whole world is bullish Bitcoin waiting for this. So this might be a case where you buy the rumors, sell the news. So we're watching this very, very closely. Any move below uh, 34,000 would tell us that there's probably going to be a correction coming in here with the ultimate target up here right around 41,000, okay? That's the important thing to look at. But the secondary part of this, which is John has really wanted me to, to reveal it to you folks, this is the chart of Ethereum priced in Bitcoin. You can see that it has been going down for a long time here, for the last uh, several months. Uh, that tells you that the Bitcoin is where the play is, not with Ethereum, because this is a big difference right here. You know, John has been uh, be go is going to be doing his newsletter again. As you know, he's been, he's been a playwright, and his play has been accepted by Paramount Studios, produced by Martin Scorsese, and there'll be a walk-on part by an unknown actor here in Tucson, Arizona, who will be playing a multi-billionaire living in Ascension, Paraguay, and also traveling back and forth to Montevideo. So I don't know who that's going to be, but he's going to be pursued by several leading ladies yet to be announced. And if you believe any of that, I still have two shares of the Brooklyn Bridge. Let's get on to some of these markets here. I've got to get this up so we can see it real quickly. Oh, we've had a break here. We've broken down here in the old uh, S&P. Let's get this up here so we can see it very quickly and we we'll, should have no problem at all. There's we've broken down below our key point there, folks. We said 89 if we got below that. We were heading lower, and that's what's happened. Uh, looks like our high here, we were supposed to be 44.16. We got to, to 44.13, and now we've come down. Now, this is a – I guess the Fed must be speaking now. Why are they speaking so early? It's only 1.15. Oh, maybe I got the time messed up. Oh, probably do. 1 o'clock, 2 o'clock. No, I still have the time correct. Anyway, this is what we're looking at here. So we've, we're, we're having another ABCD coming in now. You'll see it. This is this is pretty much what we're looking at. Let's just draw it in so you can see it. We are below the CD leg, I believe, but let's just check it. And I believe we're right on the money here at 77. Now, we break below 77 here, folks. Where we're going to be going is going to be taking out these stops down here. That That's probably what we're going to be looking at, all right, if that's the case. Now, had this been, as, as you can see here, we, we have an ABCD here pattern, but it doesn't complete. That's why we were looking for that price up there at 16. You can see 16 or 17 right there. We only got to 13, but that's, uh, that's the nature of the beast sometimes, so that's it. Okay, now let me move on here to get to the gold market because that's the one that's uh, got everybody's interest, including mine. Let's get up here so we can see it. And uh, 
bring it into the four hour realm that we want to be looking at it here. This is what we were talking about yesterday to be a buyer down here at this level, right here at 44. The low was 48. So far, what we've done, you see, we've had a, a rally that has stopped right here. Now, this is important because I still think we got a shot at this number, folks. We're already down $7 from the high, so I'm assuming that we still got a chance to get down to this number at 1944, 1945. This high that we made right here, if we go to our high from this level right back here, you'll see that the 382 missed it by $2, uh, actually by just a yeah, dollar and a half of ma making the 382 retracement. So this is still on our watch list for by 1945. That's what I have to stick to it and that's the way it's going to be so i hope that helps you know looking at this as we're as we're watching it here you know unfold uh, here today now there's a couple of others that deserve our attention right now and i want to bring them to your attention right now as we speak we'll keep this on what i'm going to do now is i'm going to put my limit minder on because if we start getting down below this level here of a 4371 it means we are taking out these stops and we will be going lower out well, let's just show you where we're going to be. We'll just go to the hourly chart, and we just go back to our last major low, which was no question about this one here on Friday. Remember, this was the big one where the boys uh, started to play the baton. So you go from your high. There's your low. You've already you've made your 382 twice now. You hit it once here. Oh, this is a higher one. So this is a 382 right here at uh, 4378. The low has been... 43.76. So if we get below that, we're going to be heading down into 43.58. And what we would do here with the last part of the day would be to switch over to the smaller time frame and look to sell a 3.82 retracement of this move right here. Let's just put it in to see if it happens. There's your first move right here. So let's see if we get a rally back while we're on the air here at uh, 43.89. That would be a legitimate uh, uh, three, 3.82 sell. And that's what I would be watching, you know, very, very closely. If you follow that theory, here's where we were in bonds last night. This is the big ABCD up here. And then this is a, the 60 minute. But here was the, the key right here is a, this was a 382 retracement right here at this level. And unfortunately, I had the order in. I <laughs> missed it by, by a couple of pips. Even went above it. I didn't see it till afterwards. And by the time it was here, and look what's happened, folks. We've had a big move down here uh, in the bonds here just now because of evidently the Fed has said something that the market didn't like. Look at this on a longer-term basis. We'll move this over so we can see where we are here from our big low way back here. Let's just clean all this out so we can see where we are. How's that? We go from our low right back here up to our high and uh, – We've made the uh, 382 retracement, went below it by a little bit with this emotionalism, took out these stops from here. So we're at a real critical level here in the bonds also. We're going to take a break here. Our guest is Rich Anderson at the break. Our grains are rocking and rolling because of the grain report. We'll be right back. Steve Rhodes started his trading career as a student almost 20 years ago, and the student has now become the master. Steve won the prestigious Timer of the Year Award in 2018 and barely missed that mark again in 2019, finishing at number two for the year. An amazing accomplishment. Steve Rhodes is committed to sharing his techniques and knowledge with anyone who wants to learn, and he shares his vast amount of trading knowledge every day in his Mastering Probability newsletter. Steve's award-winning newsletter, Mastering Probability, is delivered every trading day with updates throughout the afternoon. Sign up for Steve's market newsletter, Mastering Probability, and you'll receive access to seven of Steve's educational webinars absolutely free. At TFNN, all our newsletters come with a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have absolutely nothing to worry about. Visit TFNN.com and try Mastering Probability 30 days risk-free today. TFNN, education investors. Are you ready to take your trading to the next level? 
Introducing Tom O'Brien's award-winning newsletter, Market Insights, your key to successful active trading. Tom O'Brien, renowned for his expertise in the financial markets, has designed Market Insights to be your daily guide to profitable trades. Tom publishes his daily Market Insights newsletter every market day before the market open, along with updates when warranted. Stay ahead of the game with Tom's real-time analysis and trade recommendations delivered straight to your inbox. Whether you're a seasoned trader or just starting out, Market Insights provides the edge you need to navigate the markets with confidence. Ready to join the ranks of successful traders? Head over to TFNN.com and subscribe to Market Insights today. Don't miss out on this opportunity to supercharge your trading results. Market Insights comes with a 30-day money-back guarantee for all new subscribers, so you have nothing to risk. Don't miss out on this opportunity to revolutionize your trading game. Head over to TFNN.com right now to join the thousands of traders who have already experienced the power of Tom O'Brien's award-winning newsletter, Market Insights, firsthand. TFNN, educating investors. Currencies, commodities, and bond markets are as important as ever right now with how they're driving the volatility in equity markets across the globe, which is why it's a great time to try out Teddy Kegstat's Tiger Forex Report. Teddy Kegstat breaks down the Forex markets every Monday using his 30-plus years of experience as a trading veteran of futures, Forex, stocks, and options. Teddy releases his weekly Tiger Forex Report every Monday morning with coverage of all the major currency pairs, including the dollar index, the euro dollar, pound dollar, dollar Swiss, dollar yen as well as many more and he also has weekly coverage of the crude oil market and the 30-year t-bonds as they both influence forex markets tremendously when you sign up for the tiger forex report you also gain instant access to teddy's 60-minute webinar archive he just hosted forex strategies and fundamentals what is behind the tiger forex report for all the details and to start your 30-day tiger forex report subscription today visit the front page of tfnn.com tfnn educating investors Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Okay, folks, the S&P rallied up to the 382 up there at 4389. If you did that, your stop would be 4392. You're only risking three points right now. In fact, is what I would do. I would just put it at break even right now because if it gets back up there at 4389, it's probably wrong. Remember, we're micromanaging this because it's just an eight-minute chart, so that's what you have to do. But you know, you can see the A, B, C, D pattern right here, and the rally back. That's really what we're watching here. Now, Mr. Z in the room has asked me to take a look at the soybeans, and I certainly want to do that because we've had a a big move here in soybeans here recently. Uh, this was the last night, or this is the move yesterday. You see we got up to the 61% retracement. What I was looking at last night on a smaller time frame was this beautiful 382 that we had right here. And uh, believe it or not, folks, I got out of it a little too early, but I uh, still made a pretty good piece of change on it. We got out of it right in here, well, right there. Then has another 382. And then the report came out. That was the reason why... Uh, you know, I'm not going to go into a report. You can see from the report we dropped another 25 cents, so the report must have been, you know, pretty bearish. But uh, that's what's happened. Looking at this, this is a short-term view, but the daily view was also telling you that it was making some type of a top up in this area here at the 61% retracement off of this high right here and off of this high right here. We were coming in right at the 78% level, which would have been within one penny of where we were right now. So where do we go from here? Here's where we are. The reports come out. The last time we had a, a big report here, we, we, we went down this much. See, we've already covered what we did in the six or seven days the last time, the market bottom. But this is a report. It's very emotional. So what we want to do is we want to forget that, and forget that, and forget that, and look to see where we are now because this is still going over since October. So what we're looking at is major support coming in here somewhere. There's your ABCD pattern right here. There's your 382 came in at 1340, and we're right now at 1346. So this is an important number, just like that S&P. They might not last for very long, folks, but they last enough to pay attention to them. That's all I can tell you. As you come up to this level right here, that was 50%. Uh, so you had two numbers. To tell you that was a pretty good number there at 1340. So that's what I'm looking at, and I'm sticking to it. Now, beans are still bullish, okay? They're still bullish until they go below this level right here. 
that's down another 30, 25 cents from where we are right now, folks. I mean, that's a big move down. So if you're bearish, what you do, you just stick to the program, put your 13 minute chart up, and you've got a high back here. There's where you were uh, yesterday. Okay, there was a, there was your little Gartley uh, three right at the exact 382 last night. And uh, it turned out to be pretty good. You know, we were selling it up here at 72. We got out of it just a little bit below 60, around 56, 58. And then, of course, the report came out and boom, down it went. Now what we have to see, just like in the S&P, we've got a high up here. And we want to see what the 382 is going to be on the way back. Look at this thing. This thing almost made a 382 already after the bottom came in. We rallied from 36 we rallied, uh, wow, that was a pretty big rally, 36 to 56. That's a 20, 18 cent rally, which is the harmonic number in this. So watch this one really closely because we're backing off nicely again, but there's your 382 to watch here in the January soybeans. That's at 1354, okay? 1354 is where it should be. So let's pay attention to that. That's going to be up 18 cents from the bottom. One eight, yeah. 18 cents is the harmonic number that would take you right to there, and that's what you'd be looking at uh, from that point on. Okay, so watch that. There would also be, as you can see here, would be drawing in a little A B C D on this one too, as we look. But that comes in uh, quite a bit higher. That comes in up here, 1359. When you're trading that. 382 ratio you got to go with that ratio you got to you you can't really depend on that believe it or not you can't depend on the abcd remember mathematics precedes geometry that's what mr uh, albert einstein said and this is mathematics this red thing here is geometry that's the big difference okay that's also back up into this area right here so watch this 382 at um, 1354 and we'll see what's happened. The fact that it came out here pretty good, uh, this was the number. There was your 382 number right there. It was a daily 382. So that tells you that there's still uh, there's still somebody smiling over there on soybeans right here at this level because that's a 382 off of the whole thing. So we'll pay close attention to that as we uh, keep watching some of these things here today. Let's move on here. I want to cover a couple others that look uh, pretty interesting here. I think we're having one heck of a rally here. Uh, in the soil, no, it must not be because I don't hear my beeper going off. So let me give it uh, tie all these verticals so I can get them out of the way I wanted to cover. Yeah, it's coming back pretty good here in the S and P. So I can see by the the bounce in the the uh, uh, the Dow Jones that we're also bouncing quite a bit. The Dow Jones couldn't even make a uh, see now. There, there's. We're back to the 382 here in the uh, S&P here. I would consider that a scratch trade. The most that it gave you was uh, eight or nine cents. So I would just say, you know, it's up to you. But that's the way I would. In fact, I'm talking and doing this. I shouldn't be trading. But anyway, I got to keep it really simple for myself. So if it gets back to bake even, you know, I'm usually uh, that's all I want to risk, especially when I'm talking like I'm like I'm going on right here. Now, there's a chance here for something else that this could be really important, folks. This is the price of crude oil, all right? Now, this is the December crude. We've had a big rally. You see this low down here, 7,500? What we want to do is we want to look at this on the long-term daily because there it is right there, right there at that 7,500 level, okay? Now, we're trading a buck above it. So this is the first sign that we've had some type of a bottom in here. So we really start have to paying attention to this crude oil right now. This is the low that we made way back here in, in May. Okay, this is the May low. And there's your Fibonacci retracement right here. There's your ABCD. It went, you know, a dollar below that. But this is what you want to be watching. So what I'm watching now is on a 13-minute chart. You can see here. We've had a pretty good run here today. We've rallied from basically 75 to 77. We've rallied $2 a barrel. Now, after the bottom was made, the first bottom came in from this low, came in exactly at the 61% retracement. The problem is, folks, sometimes you got to shade it to get in, and I missed it but anyway that's what you should have done anyway at that spot right there because this has got a chance to be a pretty good move here so i'm going to be watching this this is my this is my uh, wish list okay because this can happen quite a bit in crude oil all we need to do is to see something like this 
and it'll be like Christmas Day. There's your A, B, C, D coming down one more time, right about there, 75.45. That's down only a buck from where we are right now. We're at 61% retracement right now, and this is the move down. Bada bing, bada boom, that's what I would be looking at. I couldn't buy crude oil here if you let me trade for free. But here, I would rather be a buyer. So let's pay close attention to that. I believe that we have a, let's just double check. I think we have a uh, break coming up right now. Let's move on here. Gold Report. As a precious metal, gold is still king. It continues to hold the most effective safe haven and hedging properties across the global major trading hubs of the London OTC market, the U.S. futures market, and the Shanghai Gold Exchange. The Gold Report. Tom O'Brien publishes his weekly gold report every Monday morning for subscribers, consisting of coverage of the XAU, HUI, GDX, the dollar, bonds, the South African RAND, as well as 25 different mining equities with specific buy-sell recommendations. The Gold Report. New subscribers get a 30-day money-back guarantee so you have nothing to risk. Subscribe to Tom O'Brien's Gold Report newsletter now at tfnn.com. Everything in the universe is governed by the Fibonacci sequence. This mathematical principle is responsible for everything from the most aesthetically pleasing artwork to patterns in the stock market. To stay on top of stock patterns you can take advantage of, sign up for the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter at TFNN.com. When you subscribe, you'll get a weekly report from veteran day trader Larry Pesavento on stocks you need to pay attention to. And you can trust Larry's analysis. After all, he's got 45 years experience as a day trader. Larry will also provide daily charts, videos, and data on the key markets that he's tracking. Expect notifications from Larry on market movement you need to act on at any time. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. Subscribe to the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter today. TFNN.com. Educating investors. TFNN has just launched their new trading room, The Tiger's Den. Hosted at Discord, TFNN has been educating traders for more than 20 years with live programming hosted by a variety of professional traders during market hours. And now they are expanding their reach with The Tiger's Den. Available to all tigers and tigresses for just $1 for the year. There's no catch or added costs when you join our community of traders. In The Tiger's Den, you can look over the shoulders of Tom O'Brien and the other TFNN hosts while they analyze charts during their live Tiger TV programs and join an interactive trading community with hundreds of members exchanging ideas. Interact with other Tigers and Tigresses as they share trading ideas, news analysis, and discuss the market action all trading day, even at night and on the weekends. The Tigers Den at Discord is accessible on mobile or tablets as well, so it's always at your reach. To sign up today and become a part of this educational community of traders, just visit the front page of TFN. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. Okay, we're back, folks. We have Rich Anderson on the line. Rich, we've had some uh, reports out today. Tell the folks what uh, what you heard or what you're seeing. Well, the, we had the WASD World Agricultural Supply and Demand estimates out. Um, you know, they're they're showing the corn will be a. Their estimate is the corn carryover is going to be a little greater. The beans a little less, and the wheat. A slightly greater. I mean, one million metric tons. It's 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 as far as I'm concerned, it's kind of a non-event. Um, mm -hmm. 
the, the weather in in Brazil is a much bigger event, and the beans, the soybeans that uh, China's been purchasing is is giving us some lift. The cheapest the cheapest market in the world is the Ukraine. Surprise, surprise. But of course, you have a little problem with shipping over there. Um, <laughs> Amen. The, the, the Russians are trying to control the price by thinking this is cheap enough for wheat and we're not going to sell any more wheat, you know, below X price. The, you know, the, there's wheat grown all around the world. That, that's that's one of the problems of <clears throat> uh, wheat is it is grown all around the world. And, you, you know, deciding you're going to rule the price doesn't always work that well. I don't think it's going to work that well for the Russians. You saw the big rally yesterday and the, and the wheat well, a rocket, a Russian rocket hit one of the ships that was going into Odessa to probably haul wheat out. And and uh, so it's going to be an ongoing issue every time you have something like that. The, uh, the your, your comments this morning really caught my eye, and I sent you that oil meal chart. Uh, you were able to see that the meal is acting kind of like maybe it'll be putting in a high. Well... <clears throat> Brazil is now the cheapest um, price for meal, except they're mostly sold out. But there was a rumor that one of the cargoes that was going to be shipped to China from the U.S. has switched back down to Brazil. So that tells you that we're probably high enough. And the reason this, and you were looking at buying the soybean oil, which caught my eye because I've been watching that too. And the, the oil's been under pressure on the oil meal spread as there's been this huge demand, relatively speaking, for for the meal product. And when you crush a, a bushel of beans, you get there's 60 pounds bushel of beans. You get 48 pounds of meal, approximately, and 12 pounds of oil. It's actually about 11.8. You have some residual and all that. But uh, that's that's I, in my opinion what's been putting pressure on the uh, on the oil. That and the the biodiesel, renewable diesel. From bean oil, well, you need the crude oil prices to stabilize. And then I find the interest rates very interesting. You know, they they, they hit 5% last week, and then by the end of the week, they're 4.57. Well, what we have, I think, Larry, is a bunch of positions in these markets, and we have air pockets where, you know, it gets to a price, and all of a sudden the guys have to get out or they're, or the algos tell them to get out and, you know, there isn't a lot of liquidity. And then we're going into the end of the year. And I've always said that between Thanksgiving and, and New Year's, if I just uh, did only stuff that would be during the day and not stay overnight, mm -hmm. I'd be better off because the markets get kind of choppy. And it, it sure looks like that to me. You know, the, the debt that the U.S. has is not going away. Last week they had a, a bond auction that, satisfied the people but the bottom line is we, we have this huge debt the peace dividend that we used to have remember when the berlin well went down and now we got this peace dividend that peace dividend's gone and so we, we're going to have some interesting and challenging times and and one of mark douglas's old friend jim bianco had a, a piece seven eight days ago and he's talking about how these interest rates they're just normal people are looking at 09 to 2020 well that was quantitative easing interest rates. Prior to that, average interest rate was two and a half, two point seven percent. And th then he went into a piece about uh, gross domestic product and how they thought it'd be negative in the first quarter and then the second quarter and the third quarter. The bottom line is, the economists, you know, they're way off the mark almost all the time. So <laughs> trade technically, control your risk, yeah. and you'll do just fine. And and you see and you see things, you know, in the chart that you'd have to really be wired in to know about in the fundamentals. That's all. That's all I'll say. Well, don't don't tell them about our secret stuff, Rich, because, you know, we've been friends for 50 <laughs> years, and I don't want you sharing the 50, uh, our 50-year 50 secret together, okay? Right, right, yeah. <laughs> the sum total of what Rich and anybody. I – what some total of what Rich and I know uh, about the economic. Well, Rich knows a lot more about it than I do. You could write on the head of a pen and bold face type. I, I rely on A, B, C, D, and Fibonacci. That's what I rely on. It's uh, kept me going. The way Rich and I met was God, this is met back in the early 70s. They had a squawk box at Payne Weber. And I used to stop in there and I would uh, uh, 
uh, listen to the guys, and every once in a while I'd chime in on something. And after a few predictions that I had made, uh, Rich found out who I was and uh, got in touch with me. And we've been friends uh, pretty much ever since, raising the kids and the whole bit, so bearing the parents. It's been a been a hell of a run here, pal. One thing you've helped me, Rich, folks, I'm going to tell you a little personal thing. Rich and I are both Catholics, and uh, Rich got me started to uh, saying the rosary about six months ago. And I, I say two a day, Rich, sometimes three if there's a, yeah. a, a, a thing before it, but it only takes about 12 to 15 minutes, and it brings me uh, you know, back to that uh, big creator up in the sky. But that has nothing to do with technical analysis, my friend. So tell us what you think is going to happen with interest rates in the next, say, 30 days? Are we still going to get up to near, uh, break above 5% in the uh, uh, in, in a short-term well, rate? Well, the, the, that's the way the markets have been working lately. And, you know, I, I kind of look at how things have been working, and that tells me that the power players, that's the way that, you know, whether it's their computer systems are programmed that way or whatever. And I kind of think we're going to do a, a retest, and the government will find a way to... Uh, make that retest hold because frankly we can't afford <laughs> as the u.s government we can't afford these interest rates on the other hand we have so much debt that the only answer in my opinion and you know i'm i don't have a phd in economics uh, you know, uh, i watch copper for that it is is to inflate our way out of this problem and so it, yes. it's, we're going to have these swings and it's going to give great opportunities if you're a technician and, and structure your risk intelligently well, that's what you should focus on, how much money you're not going to lose, how much money you're going to make. I think you'll be far better off than, uh, you know, if you, sh you start shooting for the fences, and that makes it uh, pretty difficult. Rich, I have a question. You know, I had an order to buy the gold down there at uh, 45 today. We got down to 48. Is that going to be the bottom, or should I give it another day or so? Well, I I would say I would I would looking at silver this morning and, and thinking that we might have a couple more days of a, a backup and uh, then give us opportunity in the gold. Um, the way I see it, it's likely to hold in here. You know, I, I thought we'd probably retest that level. Um, the important level is that big, that big update on October 13th when we went to 1946. I thought we'd we try and recast that level, and that I think there's opportunity in there. That's what I'm looking for. Hey, Rich, thanks for joining us, my friend. We'll have you on again soon, and the great information as always. All right, we'll be right back, care. folks. Bye bye. You might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the opening call newsletter at TFNN.com. The opening call newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. The Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the opening call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know, and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com, educating investors. Are you ready to take your trading to the next level? Introducing Tom O'Brien's award-winning newsletter, Market Insights, your key to successful active trading. Tom O'Brien, renowned for his expertise in the financial markets, has designed Market Insights to be your daily guide to profitable trades. Tom publishes his daily Market Insights newsletter every market day before the market open, along with updates when warranted. Stay ahead of the game with Tom's real-time analysis and trade recommendations delivered straight to your inbox. Whether you're a seasoned trader or just starting out, Market Insights provides the edge you need to navigate the markets with confidence. Ready to join the ranks of successful traders? Head over to TFNN.com and subscribe to Market Insights today. Don't miss out on this opportunity to supercharge your trading results. Market Insights comes with a 30-day money-back guarantee for all new subscribers, so you have nothing to risk. 
Don't miss out on this opportunity to revolutionize your trading game. Head over to TFNN.com right now to join the thousands of traders who have already experienced the power of Tom O'Brien's award-winning newsletter, Market Insights, firsthand. TFNN, educating investors. Biotech is booming, but for how long? Whether you think the biotech bull has room to run or has run its course, trade LABU or LABD. Direction's daily S&P Biotech three times bull and bear ETFs. Visit directioninvestments.com slash biotech today. An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the Direction shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about Direction shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact Direction shares at 866-476-7523. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors, such as traders and active investors. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. This program is brought to you by Vista Gold, traded on the NYSE American and TSX under the symbol VGZ. Okay, folks, uh, we went up here and we touched that 382 again several times. I just don't like to put a trade on while I'm actually trying to talk a little bit unless I'm uh, doing a live thing anyway that's that was a spot to look at uh, you know you never went anywhere near your stop so that's a principle that we want to be watching here let's move on here to this uh, crude oil because this is acting really nicely uh, we went up to the 618 spot on we've already dropped about 50 bucks five excuse me five hundred dollars we needed to get down to here now if you get down to here at this level right here, you're going to have a perfect Gartley right here at 35.45. That's down less than a point from where we are right now. Okay. There's the key right there. That's your 786 on the long term, or excuse me, 618 on the long term daily. Let's get it up there to look at it again. See, there's that number, 75.29. Now you're going to be trying to buying here. You're going to be buying at 75.45. The low here, 74.99. So your risk is going to be about 500 bucks if you get down there. Let's show it again so you can see it easily enough. There's a the number, 75.45. The low is 74.90. It's got to hold that level, folks. And if it doesn't, you know, just get out of Dodge. You're going to have to risk about 40 points, but you stop at, uh, let's say, 75 even. But uh, that, that, that's what I would be watching. So pay attention to it. It's a good pattern. And as you can see, it's coming down quite a bit. So let's uh, keep a close eye on it. As we look at this crude oil today, it had some really nice patterns in here. You can see the A, B, C, D patterns forming through here. We had a couple of really big ones happening here right at the top. Hold on. Let me get this up so you can see it. There's your first one right here measured up to uh, this level right here which was 76.90, the high was 79.10. And then you had another one right here, taking you right up to that same spot. There's your AB leg, CD leg right there. Also taking you up here to 77. And now you can see where we are. We came all the way down from 77, down to the 61% retracement here at 75.70. And now we're having to rally back up. Folks, if you're trading these intraday, there is absolutely no way in God's green earth that you can do this kind of stuff on this and be doing the S&P at the same time unless you're super multitasked. And believe me, folks, uh, <laughs> this is not me. Multitasking is not what I can do. I can talk and chew gum at the same time on good days. But anyway, that's what I'm watching. Watch this one right here because there's a, a double-edged sword here, possible really major low right here. Below that level here, no major low at all. So watch it closely. Going to be really interesting <coughs> to pay attention to. I've had a question about the wheat market. Let's get this up. I haven't checked wheat after the report, so it'll only take a second here to bring this up. And uh, we're going to be doing this uh, pretty easily here. There's your Christmas wheat. And we'll get it up here. With, let's put the hourly up. We'll be able to see it. I know we had a heck of a run last night. And there's the old... Uh, rally we had see we there's another one where we had another let, let's get rid of this i don't need that pattern stuff in there right now because it's not necessary 
delete it. And here was our move that we were watching. There was your rally up. There's your pullback right to the 61% retracement. We pointed that out, I believe, uh, yesterday or the day before to watch that 61% retracement. And there it was. And there's your target right there. Bada bing, bada boom. And bada bing, bada boom worked again. So perfect A, B, C, D, A, B, C, D. Um, that would have been a real nice one yesterday. Uh, unfortunately, I did uh, soybeans instead of the uh, wheat because the soybeans had that perfect 382 in here, whereas this one does not. You see, the, the rally goes back up to 61% retracement here, so you don't have that the advantage of that 382. With the soybeans, you had that advantage because, looking at it on that smaller time frame, that's what you had right there. It was, uh, I think it was really close to the 382. Why do I, why do, oh, I know why, because it's so sensitive. There's your high right here. There's your low. You see the 382 came in right here at 70, and it, the ABCD came in at 72, and then at uh, 72 is where we sold it, and then it, we covered it uh, right here, and, of course, it kept going uh, a little bit lower. Now we're going to see, you know, if this is going to hold. Now this is the... The uh, th uh, thirteen dollars uh, and forty cents is the three eight two retracement right here. Thirteen forty is that. We start getting below here, below this thirteen forty, then this thing is going to go down. Ooh, ooh, one thing I should check here. We had a good rally here, and I didn't check it. We rallied from uh, thirty six all the way up to uh, fifty three, seventeen cents. The harmonic number in beans is 18 cents that's 17 cents so this is a pretty good rally all i want to do now is i want to go check because if in fact this level here to this level here makes this one a 382 we know where it's going to go so let's just double check clean everything out okay so we can see where we are there's your high right here we want to check the low right there uh oh we missed it by uh missed it by one cent yeah, this was uh, 53, and that says 54, so, boy, you got to pay attention to that one. Shut the front door and raise the rent. That could be a real bearish one here. Going below here, whew, not good, because then you're looking at an A, B, C, D. It's going to take you far, far south. So the key level here is 1340. That's what you want to be watching on that. Okay, let's take a quick look at the corn. I know several people here like to trade corn. My self being one of them this is the 60 minute this will be i believe this is still december corn oh it's still going down look at this folks i always said this thing was going to get down to 41 let's do the daily here just to be safe because i think that's what shows where we're going here there it is at 41 i believe is a number i've been waiting for it's the 127 of this range right here from your high up to your low there it is right there. At, uh, there at fifth, there's the number right here. It's a four, 14, 450 a bushel, folks. At 17 cents from where it is right now, that's what I'd be watching. There's no 382 or anything in here to help you. So it still has a one-day rally and then boom, down more and more. So I don't see a whole much, uh, too much to do. We had a nice ABCD rally here around the 23rd. We pointed that. It was right around the... Uh, eclipse and then boom down we came from there and so it looks like we're still still heading lower let's look at it on a long-term weekly because i know it's it's in really dire situation you can see here there's that number again 1449 that we talked about there's where it really comes from is right there 1449 that's down uh, 18 cents from where we are right now but watch that one that's a really big one because that's a long-term weekly bottom and it should also bring us into this level uh, right about here. So it's a real key level to be watching here. I think we have a uh, – how much time do we have left? Uh, we got a break coming up here pretty quickly. Uh, tomorrow's guest is going to be uh, Grace Morris of Astro Economics, and she's going to be talking to us about some of these NASDAQ stocks because, you know, some of them gotten hit pretty good. Others have held up really, relatively well, but we'll do one at a time and see how they unfold here. And we'll go from this level to that level, and we'll see what's going on. So stay tuned, 877-927-6648.
If you're looking for potential trading setups in the stock market, then Rocket Equities and Options Report is a newsletter you should try. Tommy O'Brien delivers options and equity trades when the markets present them using a combination of fundamentals and technicals. Sign up for Rocket Equities and Options Report today with a 30-day money-back guarantee so you have nothing to risk. For all the details and to start your subscription today, visit the front page of TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors. You might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the opening call newsletter at TFNN.com. The opening call newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. The Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the opening call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know, and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com, educating investors. Everything in the universe is governed by the Fibonacci sequence. This mathematical principle is responsible for everything from the most aesthetically pleasing artwork to patterns in the stock market. To stay on top of stock patterns you can take advantage of, sign up for the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter at TFNN.com. When you subscribe, you'll get a weekly report from veteran day trader Larry Pesavento on stocks you need to pay attention to. And you can trust Larry's analysis. After all, he's got 45 years experience as a day trader. Larry will also provide daily charts, videos, and data on the key markets that he's tracking. Expect notifications from Larry on market movement you need to act on at any time. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. Subscribe to the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter today. TFNN.com. Educating investors. TFNN has launched the Tiger's Den, hosted at Discord. TFNN has been educating traders for more than 20 years with live programming hosted by a variety of professional traders during market hours. The Tiger's Den, available to all tigers and tigresses for just $1 for the year. There's no catch or added costs when you join our community of traders. Sign up today and become a part of this educational community of traders. Just visit the front page of TFNN.com. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. Okay, back, folks. We're weakening up here in the stock market. We're get below that 43.75 level, folks. Uh, that tells us that the correction is going to continue down a little bit more. Uh, we focused here on today's show to keep a very, very close eye on the December crude oil at uh, right, right around 75.50 with a stop right below 75. That's going to be a big guardly coming off of 618 on the weekly. It may not work, but by golly, those are the kind you want to look at. And also, uh, we still are going to be looking to buy gold if we get down to 1945. We've had a $23 rally off the bottom, and uh, that's not unusual, but, uh, you know, these markets are very active, and they can easily pull back one more time, and that is my fond hope, and hope is one of the words you never want to use when trading, folks. It's, it's not a hope situation. It's doing, and that's what you really have to do. So they're going to be great activity in here, but watch that 4370, 4373 level in the S&P. We started getting below that. We're probably going to get more of a correction, uh, and this is really we haven't had any correction. Uh, all of these swings have been around 30 or 40 S&P points, which is, you know, nothing anymore. It's really uh, quite, quite amazing. Our projected high of the day was 44.17. We got to 44.13, and we've already dropped 33 handles from there. So that tells you that these markets are getting active, and that's what you like to see. Even the bonds, we've had a two-point move in bonds today to the downside, so and they're bouncing a little bit also. So it's not going to be easy, but it's going to be a lot of fun no matter what.
however you look at it. Do one thing, folks. Make sure that you take care of your neighbors. And sometimes it's just getting them some food from the market or taking them to the pharmacy, whatever it needs to be done. Remember, someday you're going to be in that old octogenarian age, and you're going to need people to help you out. And that's always important to have uh, family. And if you don't have family, maybe have a few friends to help you out. So live every day in an attitude of gratitude, and may God bless. 